The Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel is getting a $4 billion expansion to finally tackle its infamous traffic congestion. This massive project is set to add new tunnels, widen roads, and change how millions travel through the region. If you've ever been stuck here, you know the frustration. But soon, relief is on the way. Let's break down how this engineering marvel is coming together and what it means for the future of transportation. Welcome to the Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel Expansion, one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in the United States. It's a game changer, a beast of a project that's reshaping the way people move through this critical transportation corridor. And it's not just about widening roads. This expansion is bringing in one of the largest tunnel boring machines in the world to carve out a brand new path under the Chesapeake Bay. So, what's the big deal about this tunnel? Why is Virginia investing billions into this? And how exactly is this engineering marvel coming together? Let's break it all down. Hampton Roads isn't just any old region. It's home to a network of cities forming a metropolitan area with nearly 2 million people. But what really makes this area stand out is its geography. We're talking about a location where multiple rivers converge into the massive Chesapeake Bay, creating both incredible opportunities and major transportation headaches. At the heart of it all is Naval Station Norfolk, the world's largest naval base, so you can imagine just how important smooth transportation is here. It's a lifeline for commuters, military personnel, and travelers moving between the northeast and the sunny shores of the south. Now let's rewind a bit. The original Hampton Roads Bridge Tunnel was built in 1957, and it was a groundbreaking feat at the time, the first tunnel in the world to connect two artificial islands. Nearly two decades later, a second tunnel was added in 1976. But here's the problem. This system was designed for about 60,000 vehicles per day. These days, on peak travel days, it's handling over 100,000. You don't have to be an engineer to see that the math doesn't work. Something had to be done. Enter the massive expansion project that's been in the works for decades. The solution? widening nearly 10 miles of Interstate 64, expanding bridges, and adding a brand new twin tunnel system beneath the water. Picture this. The existing tunnel will be used for westbound traffic, while a brand new tunnel will carry eastbound vehicles. Plus, two new marine trestles with four lanes each will connect everything together. And while this might sound like a purely marine-based project, over 65% of the work is actually happening on land, with more than 20 bridges being widened or worked on in some way. Of course, none of this happens without some serious engineering muscle, and that's where the tunnel boring machine, nicknamed Mary, comes into play. And let's be clear, Mary isn't just some ordinary piece of equipment, she's a behemoth, Standing at 46 feet in diameter, stretching over 430 feet long, and weighing a mind-blowing 4,700 tons, Mary is one of the largest machines of its kind in the world. Imagine a four-story building, except it moves through solid earth, chewing through rock and sediment like it's nothing. Mary started its journey on the South Island, where it was carefully assembled and lowered into place. Then, for nearly a year, Mary drilled its way toward the North Island, finally breaking through in April 2024. But here's where things get even crazier. After reaching the other side, Mary had to be turned around to start digging back. Now, flipping a 2,500-ton cutter head isn't exactly easy, but engineers used a friction-reducing nitrogen table to make the process smoother and once everything was in position, a massive crane carefully rotated and reassembled the machine for the return journey. This kind of precision is crucial because, believe it or not, tunnels don't just sit passively in the ground. There's a constant battle against buoyancy. Without careful weight balancing, 
the tunnel could actually start shifting upward due to pressure from the surrounding environment. So every step of the process required engineers to counteract those forces in real time. And that's the kind of high-stakes problem-solving that makes a project like this so fascinating. Beyond the tunnel construction, road improvements are happening throughout the entire corridor. Traffic flow will be enhanced with new intelligent transportation systems that monitor congestion and adjust lane availability in real time. This includes dynamic toll pricing, which adjusts based on demand, encouraging better traffic distribution throughout the day. In addition to relieving congestion, the project also brings economic benefits. The expansion is expected to create thousands of jobs, from engineers and construction workers to long-term maintenance personnel. The improved infrastructure will also attract businesses to the region, boosting local economies and increasing property values. Tourism will likely benefit as well, as travelers heading to Virginia Beach, the Outer Banks, and other coastal destinations will have a smoother and more efficient route. Now, with all this innovation and progress, you'd think everyone would be on board, right? Well, not exactly. As with any major public project, there's been some controversy. For one, the price tag keeps climbing. What started as a $3.3 billion project in 2016 has now ballooned past $4 billion. And where is all this money coming from? About 90% of it, roughly $3.58 billion, is being funded through a trust established by the Virginia General Assembly. This trust gets its money from a combination of a 7% state sales tax increase and a 2.1% hike in fuel taxes. The remaining funds come from federal and state contributions. But money isn't the only sticking point. Critics argue that simply widening the road isn't enough. Many believe that this expansion will just lead to induced demand, a phenomenon where increasing road capacity actually encourages more people to drive, eventually leading back to the same old congestion problems. Some experts have pushed for alternatives like expanded public transit or even a light rail system. However, state officials say those options weren't pursued because of concerns about ridership and the massive infrastructure changes that would be needed. And then there's the issue of tolls. To help pay for the project, some lanes will have variable priced tolls, meaning the price fluctuates based on demand. The good news? Two of the four lanes in each direction will remain free, ensuring that drivers still have a no-cost option. But how effective will the toll system be in reducing congestion? That remains to be seen. Despite the debates, one thing is for certain. This project is a once-in-a-generation transformation for Hampton Roads. By the time it's fully completed in 2027, it's expected to last over a hundred years, shaping how millions of people travel for generations to come. Whether you're a local commuter, a road-tripping vacationer, or someone just fascinated by mind-blowing engineering, this is a project worth watching. So, what do you think? Will this expansion truly solve the region's traffic problems, or is it just a short-term fix for a long-term issue? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you love deep dives into incredible engineering projects like this one, don't forget to like and subscribe for more.